Hey guys, welcome to episode three of the London Irish St. Patrick's Party shirt. Right, so in episode one, we decide, uh, we did a competition so you could design the shirt. In episode two, we made a decision, or London Irish made the decision on what shirt they wanted to use. And today, number three, I'm in Blackburn, which is very north of me, as I found out today. Um, we are here today to at the factory um, where they actually make the shirt. So we're going to get in and have a look round and yeah, see how they actually make the shirts and find out a bit more information about it. And you might even get a sneak peek of the shirt, or maybe we might even release it. Who knows? Anyway, let's get inside to the factory and uh, find out a bit more information. So the process of making a shirt. Now, BLK and London Irish have got the finalised design. They've sent this on to the manufacturing factory. This goes to two departments. The first department it goes to is the design team. They have to go through everything on the design, making sure the logos and everything are to scale and look correct as they should. They also need to colour match the jersey. So what this means is making sure that their machines run at the same colours as what London Irish want, not necessarily by what a computer says. So they have to match it up and make sure the colours that are going to be printed are exact. On the other side of the factory, the fabric cutting team get the designs. This is so they can cut each panel of each shirt out on white fabric in advance of the design going to print. Stage two of the shirt creation. The design is then sent to a large ink printer. This is then heated up and pressed onto the white fabric that has been cut already. Once the shirt is then printed onto the fabric, this is where you then add things like the grips that you get on the front of a plain shirt. In the final stage of the shirt creation, all the panels that have been printed are placed together in a bundle. This is then taken to a team who then go through each individual bit, sewing bits together and completing a finished garment. final stage of the shirt creation is just quality control, making sure every single individual garment is to a high standard. This is then ironed and packaged and sent to the club. So then guys, that's the end of today's episode and that was very interesting for me. I, I really enjoyed that. I hope you have as well and hope you've learned something. It's really impressive to see a shirt made from, well, just a concept design on a computer to a finished product that the players will actually be wearing for the St. Patrick's Party fixture against the Saints on the 28th of March. It's, yeah, there was a lot of, lot of bits that all interlink and stuff it was really impressive to see like all the processes it goes through um so thanks a lot for watching guys make sure you hit like on this video and if you don't already click follow and uh yeah i'll see you soon guys bye